Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Mark and thank you so much for coming by today. I am very thankful today because it is getting close to Thanksgiving. I love the holidays, my favorite time of the year, starting with Halloween. It just doesn't get any better than this time of year. I hope you are finding the spirit of the holidays coming toward you. You embrace it. And I hope it's a joyful, happy time for you as well. I can't wait for the holidays. I get very excited. I'm like a little kid. So I love giving presents and I love giving things away. So that's why I'm doing the Happy Thanks giveaway uh, at the end of November, which is uh, actually going to end on November 23rd, which is Thanksgiving in the U.S. And this envelope contains the contents of that giveaway. So whoever the lucky winner is, I'll pick that on the uh, weekend after Thanksgiving in the U.S. And uh, they'll be the recipient of this little package here. And what I want to do today is I want to review two of the items that are going to be in that package. And that is these wonderful little watercolor trading cards. And uh, I just love these things, and I love working that small, sending these out to friends, especially when they don't expect it. So it's one of those things that, you know, when you get a chance to be thankful for something and give back in a way that's kind of a surprise, it just makes it even better. So come on along for the review. I'll do a little quick demonstration on these uh, trading cards, and hopefully you will enjoy that. Come on along. <laughs> Okay, and here we are, the two packages. The uh, first is the watercolor trading cards. They're about three bucks where I live, and you get 10 300-pound cold press watercolor cards, two and a half inches by three and a half inches. The insert has all the information about the paper and all that. I love the packaging because it's branded like every other Strathmore product, so you know what you're getting. There's a whole history behind artist trading cards that I honestly wasn't even aware of. You can find out more about that reading the insert if you want. Uh, the only thing I don't like, my biggest criticism, is that while I like the envelopes a lot, you only get five in the set. So when you get 10 trading cards, you only get five envelopes. So I wish they had included five more. That just would have made a lot more sense. And again, these are really nice uh, envelopes, and I really like the, uh, the style of them, and the product themselves is very durable. You can see here they, uh, they fit perfectly. There's no tight fit or anything like that. And the envelopes are high quality, as well as the, the watercolor paper. These are some official trading cards that uh, are professionally done that a friend of mine sent me. I love these. I keep these set out on my desk, and I rotate them for inspiration. But they're nothing fancy. They're just business cards. Let's talk about the actual artist trading cards right after this. So the first thing I want to talk about with these artist trading cards is the paper quality. Now Strathmore makes a huge variety of different papers and products and they're usually very consistent and reliable whenever you buy their products. Now, their watercolor paper comes in different series levels. They have a 100 series all the way up to 500 series. Now, the 500 series is their premium, high-end, artist-grade watercolor paper. I typically don't buy that because I don't want to spend the extra money on it, so I buy their 400 series, which is also artist-grade. It's just not premium. It's really, really good paper. The 400 series is great. That's what these cards are actually made from. These are 400 series watercolor paper, cold press. They act exactly the same way as if you bought a block of the 400 series watercolor paper. Strathmore also makes a 100 and 200 series, which are student grade papers. And I keep a block of the 200 series here to do my testing. And if I'm doing swatches or if I'm doing just, you know, whatever, playing around and just doing a fun project. That way I'm not using my higher end paper. The 200 series is great but it is student grade, so you get what you pay for. It's a little bit cheaper in the, in the pocketbook sense, and it's a little bit cheaper in the quality, so you get what you pay for. Their mid-grade is the 300 series, which is just fine, but for me, if I'm gonna spend that money on the mid-grade, I might as well go up to the next level, the 400 series, and use that. And it's always been good for me. Now, cold press paper versus hot press paper I love hot press paper and I use the Arches or Fabriano hot press uh, watercolor paper because it's really smooth. It has a nice fine grain quality to it. But cold press has these 
sort of peaks and valleys, that rough toothy texture, you know, we call it toothy. <laughs> what that's great for is it allows the paint to sit on the paper and seep in at different levels, meaning it, it, in some areas it goes in quicker, in some areas it goes in slower. And that's great when you want to move the, the color around, especially on the higher quality papers. It stays wetter a little longer in some areas, so you can move your paint around, which is great. Uh, for me, I don't have a specific preference. I like the hot press, but I love cold press for different reasons. It gives a more artsy quality to the painting, and it's sort of a more tactile feeling when you're using it. As you can see here, this 400 uh, series, 300 pound cold press watercolor paper is exactly what I love to use. I'm, I'm just moving along very quickly here without thinking about the paper quality. It's just easy to work with. And that's why I love these cards because they're already sized at two and a half by three and a half. I don't have to think about it. I, you know, you can go out and buy a pad of 400 series, you know, full size paper and cut them down into cards that you can make yourself, which would probably be a little cheaper. But if you don't want to have the hassle of having to cut it down when you're just on the fly and you say, oh, I want to send a card to somebody, these are a great thing to have on hand in your you know, file cabinet or in your art kit or whatever to just create, put in the envelope, and send it off. And that's why I love these cards so much is because they're so convenient. Now, I'm using my Sakura Koi watercolor field kit. It's a, uh, it's a student-grade paint set. But you can see it gives great results even on this paper. On a high-end paper with, with cheaper paints, it still looks great, and I'm very, very happy with the results. So if you like the convenience of having a card like this around and you enjoy the, the satisfaction of having a higher-end watercolor paper, then these may be for you. And you can use colored pencil on these. You can use pen and ink or ink washes or anything you want, and I think the results always come out great. So I highly recommend these cards if you're interested in them. Check them out. You can find them online. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope this video was helpful for you. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so below, and I'll bring you more content like this. But if you are interested in these cards, check out my Happy Thanks giveaway video, where I am going to be giving away some of these cards, as well as some Bristol cards as well, and some other great things. Uh, check that video out. I'll put a link up here so you can see that. And um, good luck to everyone who's entered that contest. I hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Thank <laughs> you.